It's pretty good. Hey everyone, Eric from Tokyo Coffee here. Today we're going to talk about the Breville Barista Touch, another machine in the Breville Barista series. Who is this machine for? Is it worth the money? How does it work? Let's get into it. So, Breville Barista Touch is... So, Breville Barista Touch is a more high-tech option in their barista series. It has this beautiful little touch screen here that lets you pick your drinks and kind of guides you through it. Has all the same features as the other machines in the barista series. So you got your onboard espresso grinder with a hopper on top here, grinds right through. You have, of course, your group head, your porta filter. You have a steam wand. You've got a nice little drip tray here. It has everything you need to make espresso. You're gonna be able to open up the box, put this on your counter and get going. You won't need anything else. What does this machine do that's different than the other Breville Barista machines? Well, this machine is more of a starter machine, a machine for someone who loves espresso, loves cappuccinos, loves lattes, but doesn't really have much experience behind the bar or doesn't really want to spend their time researching and watching a lot of YouTube videos to figure out how to do things. They want a machine that's a little bit easier, but still makes a good cafe quality shot of espresso and creamy, silky milk. This machine takes care of all that for you because of not only this touch screen, which will give you the recipes and everything you need to do to make a good drink, but also has this little steam wand here that has an automatic steaming feature. So you just have to essentially follow the steps and you can have a really nice latte made in about two minutes. Uh, another nice thing about this machine is that in these menus, you can get in here and find ways to adjust your temperature, enter the cleaning cycles. You can do everything you need a lot more intuitively than any of the other machines. So it's a pretty cool feature. Step-by-step -step tutorials built right in here. It'll tell you everything you need to do from preheating your cup, grinding and dosing, tips on tamping and trimming your shot, the basics on extraction, even on frothing milk. So right from the get-go, you have everything you need to know about how to make a latte, how to make coffee, right on your touchscreen menu right here. I think this feature alone is worth a lot of money because you don't have to go anywhere else to find the information you need to be successful with your morning coffee routine. So this machine is kind of the upper in the upper tier of the barista series. You have the Express, you have the Express Impress, you have the Pro, then you have the Touch. And above the Touch, there is one more, which kind of is almost a super automatic machine that still runs on a cafe style interface that's called the Touch Impress. And that costs a lot more money, but it's a really cool machine. We'll get into that another day. The Barista Touch costs about $1,000 right now. What do you get for that $1,000? You get a decent coffee grinder with 30 grind settings, so double what you get on the Express. You have a three second heat up time because of this Thermojet heating system in here that heats on demand. Uh, as soon as you grind, you're ready to pull your shots. No real need to warm up. Uh, the only thing you really need to do is preheat your porta filter. So I recommend running some hot water through it before you pull your shots. Then that translates as well to the steam wand. Three seconds after you pull your shot, it's ready to steam milk. Automatic steaming feature is really cool. In fact, it works a lot better than I expected. Kind of makes me a little upset as a barista who loves steaming their own milk. This guy does about as good a job as anybody. And comes with everything else you need to make coffee, including your tamper, you've got a number of group baskets in there. You've got single size, double size, and of course, standard style and the double wall style. If you are a starter barista and you're having a hard time dialing in your shots, those double wall styles will really help you get some great crema. Though I don't really recommend them, you're gonna get a lot better quality if you take the time to learn how to dial in your shots. Okay, so first things first, let's see how this guy does with some espresso. It does seem to respond better to a larger dose. So 18 to 20 grams is really working better for me compared to with the Barista Express. I was using more like 16 to 18 grams dose. The one accessory that I recommend that you get when you buy an espresso machine that would not be included is a little kitchen scale. Uh, they're very inexpensive. They have different ones that are rechargeable, waterproof, have built-in timers. But if you just want to get the cheapest version like this, it costs you about $10, $15 on Amazon or anywhere else. Though some of the ones that are made by other companies that are specializing in coffee are really cool. Like all the barista machines, it has this little hideaway tamper here. Uh, it's a little plasticky tamper. I'm not in love with it, but I love the feature that it 
hides away. I think it's really cool. So right now it's doing pre-infusion. So those look like they're running pretty well. We got a right time uh, coming in just about 25 seconds for extraction, not, in, not counting the pre-infusion time. They look pretty good. All right, I'm feeling good about that. Wow, all right. Espresso pass, let's make some milk-based drinks. With the auto seeming feature, you can make, you know, pretty close to barista quality milk at the touch of a button. And if you've ever steamed milk on your own with spending all that time watching YouTube tutorials, trying to get it right, getting this like crazy foamy stuff or stuff that's just too flat, this guy really does take a lot of the guesswork out of that whole equation. Now, boom. With the Bravo Barista Express, you had to wait 30 seconds before steaming your milk. Not the case with this guy. Auto steam wand, up. Put your milk on there. It's got a little sensor on the side. Yeah, I'll just get this guy out of the way so we can see a little better. Um, it kind of lines up, so the steam wand is on the edge here. It just prompted me that the jug wasn't on the sensor, the milk pitcher wasn't on the sensor properly. I didn't even know it did that. That's pretty cool. Another nice thing about this machine steam wand is that it cleans off really easily. All right, it says it's done. Just pull your steam wand up, give it a little wipe down, then it auto purges it for you right here. You don't have to worry about purging your steam wand. Milk quality looks okay. It's silky, it looks very shiny, it looks good. And uh, let's see what I can do here. Yeah. All right, that's what the Breville Barista Touch can do. You have options for espresso, Americano, latte, flat white, cappuccino, just hot milk. If you're making, you know, like just making some hot chocolate. Who is this machine for? This machine is for the beginner espresso maker who wants to make lattes, who wants to make cappuccinos, who loves milk-based drinks, but doesn't have much experience making coffee at home. This really takes a lot of the work out of it for you. The auto steamer works beautifully. I'm surprised how well it works. It also has all the information you need right in the menu, all your manuals. Uh, it's not gonna be as thorough as learning hands-on with someone else or as watching a YouTube video, but all the information isn't there if you need a reminder. It even will have you go through step-by-step -step and hold your hand as you make your first few drinks. The quality is good. I would say that if you are the kind of person who's got a Starbucks habit, you're going through the drive-thru every day, spending $7 on your lattes, this machine will pay for itself in no time. This machine is not gonna be loved by someone who is an espresso geek. If you're the kind of person who loves playing with your shots, steaming milk by hand, making latte art, this is not the machine for you. This is a little bit too automated. It just doesn't have the kind of finesse and precision of a machine that is a little bit more manual. It does have some great features. It does have that adjustable temperature, that stable temperature, also adjustable temperature for the milk. It has pre-infusion. It has a Italian espresso bar pump in there that produces nine bars of pressure. Good machine. Is it worth it? I initially expected to say that this machine is not worth $1,000. Why? Because you have the Breville Barista Pro. It has the same three second heat up time, has a beautiful steam wand, you know, all in all, basically the same machine minus the auto steamer and the touch screen, that's $850. I think after using this machine for a little bit, I think that if you, are a, if you are the kind of person who wants to make lattes at home, but have very little experience making coffee, it is totally worth it. I mean, $1,000, just do some quick math. You know, you're spending 35 bucks, $40 a week at Starbucks. You know, that means you're spending over $150 a month this machine is gonna pay for itself in less than a year. This machine will make you better quality drinks once you get the hang of it. So yeah, if you love lattes and you don't wanna go out for them, you wanna be able to make them in your kitchen, it's the way to go. It's pretty good. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. I hope that helped you make your decision on your next espresso machine. If you need any advice, if you want a one-on-one -on -one chat with me and I can help you pick out your home espresso setup, I've got a link in the bio below. I help people uh, find the right machines for their needs, be it everything from a starter machine to a high-end prosumer machine. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope to hear from you 
Do you have one of these at home? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Leave a comment if you get some time. Give me a thumbs up. You can like or subscribe. That's up to you. Thank you so much.